yard. So we got this mini split here. It looks like a single head. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, it's giving us a U4 error code, which is a issue with the transmission lines. So we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on with that. And then uh, we'll go from there. So here we go. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and check our AC power, make sure we got all the power we need. Uh, we look in there, one and two on the left. So we have 247. All right, so now let's see here. So it looks like we have, uh, okay, yeah. So one and two, that's our, that's our high voltage. So now we want to check two and three, and that's going to be our communication. So we're going to switch our meter to DC voltage. Uh-huh. Right, VDC, okay. So we're going to take two and three. And she's bouncing, so we do have some kind of transmission going on. Okay, but whenever we try to turn it on, it just, uh, it just locks out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the indoor head and see what it does. All right, so I've checked all the, visually checked all the connections, everything seems to be good. I am getting communication. Uh, so I think it may have just glitched out. So we're gonna try killing the power and restoring it, see what happens. If this still doesn't work, then we may have an issue with one of the boards. All right, so I just kind of cleaned this out. I did notice that number three uh, was pretty loose. It's all solid core, so we don't need to use the disc uh, terminals. I tightened all the connections on the inside, so we're gonna go ahead and repower it and see what happens. Okay, so our voltage is moving a lot quicker now that we reset everything. So let's see if the inside works. Well, she's back up and running. So a lot of the times you have a transmission problem, what happens is some debris or something will get on there and it'll send a garbage, you know, signal. And so the thing freaks out and then it locks out. Um, so I probably could have just killed the power, but it's always good to just clean, you know, make sure the terminals are clean. Just wipe them up with like a, a paintbrush, uh, tighten everything, and then restart it, and that usually will fix your problem. Uh, obviously, if that doesn't work, then you want to, you know, make sure that your cables have good, you know, are good, that there's no like crazy resistance and that type of thing. But usually just resetting it will fix it, but I always suggest... Checking the both sides of the terminals, make sure there's not a bunch of cobwebs and dust all over it. Clean it up, tighten everything, reset it, and you should be good to go. And we're back in the yard. So we got this one here. I guess apparently it's leaking water on the inside. Uh, so I'm out here just checking the condensate drain. And it looks like it's okay. Oh, it's a little black there, but yeah, it's clear. So let's go inside and see what's going on. Well, we'll probably vacuum that out anyway. All right, so we're on the inside unit. Uh, pan is full of water. So let's go ahead and vacuum that uh, drain line and see if that gets it to drain. So uh, if there's a plug, once I vacuum it, that the water should start rushing out. So let's do that. So we're going to go ahead and vacuum it. Uh, cordless shop back. Best investment ever. Uh, there's our water. Yeah, so it looks like we got a plug in it. But all that water that's in that pan is draining out right now. So we'll let her drain out and then we'll suck on it some more with the vacuum and then uh, get that all cleared out. It looks nice and easy. I love it when that's easy like that. Yeah, look at all that water. So we'll go ahead and vacuum this out a little more. All right, so it looks like we got all that water out of that pan. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour water into it make sure it actually drains out uh, because I wanna make sure that it wasn't just the suction of my vacuum pulling the water out. I wanna make sure it can actually drain on its own. Uh, so that's the drain right there, so I should see water coming out of it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pour it on the opposite side of the pan because I want to make sure it's making it to where it needs to go. All right. And we might get a little bit of drippage if I miss, but I should start seeing water coming out of there. And I don't know if you can see that, but I see water. It looks like it's draining out, so I think we're okay. This will also flush out any, uh, you know, leftover debris that we have in there. So I'm just going to probably pour my entire bottle of water in here just to, you know, flush out any stuff. Just be careful when you do this, because if you do it too fast, you will overflow the pan. Uh, and we don't want that. All right, so we'll put it all back together, and we'll clean the filters, and we should be good to go. So that was a nice, easy one. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.